today i want to show you something and uh let me prepare it because many of you people have been calling me hamisi uh what do we do about our uh, what do we do about um you know goats which are inactive the males which are inactive i think today i'm going to teach you many things about that i, I would like to um to inform you about how you can identify an active male because i've uh, been getting a lot of questions about this uh people really want to understand how do we know that this goat is uh, is um, is active sexually or it is not active sexually um first of all allow me show you these guys you see these young boys they are two months old but now they have become a very serious problem I've told you many times that we win animals at three months. But now, if a male has started becoming very stubborn at two months, then definitely we have to separate it. I think you've seen. In that condition, males, those small males being too many in the section, most of the time they tend to misbehave. How? By disturbing whichever animal they get. Now, you see, I think, how, how they are chasing the, 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 the females, even a mother. So what happens in that condition of disturbing an animal like frequently, if it's pregnant, because there are too many, if it's pregnant, it's going to lose uh, uh, the pregnancy. If it's on heat, it's going to become cachetic. It's going to make it, because they are making it run all throughout the day. So what do we do? We win them earlier. So that was a by the way. But I want to show you how do we know that this male is sexually active or not active. Uh, you know, like most of the time, I think, uh, for example, let me uh, show you this. Do you see this goat? This is a rainy season, but this goat is clean. I think you can see. Check out these four limbs. Eh? They are really very clean because she is a female. You get? So this is very clean, even if the condition is bad. But I want you to look at this animal. It's really dirty, but these four are limbs are really very very dirty i think you can see like a cameraman if he's really a good person would even zoom and show you what is this so if you want to know that this animal actually even if they take you to do a selection of an animal to take for breeding and you really need an active male i want you to be very very observant on the four limbs here it's always dirty and underneath is always very dirty what causes that kind of condition, that kind of appearance, is all about the, um, the spermatozoas. You know, these guys always split the spermatozoas, and that sper spermatozoas comes in a fluid, and that fluid makes it to be very, very dirty. So, like, for you people who are really selecting animals for, uh, for breeding, and you need an active male, I don't want you to forget about that. It might not be uh, a smell, as some people say, that um, a male which is active is supposed to be smelling. No. Check out that. Check out that, that this animal is supposed to be dirty. So, like, for example, people who always say that my animal is not active because my workers tell me that this animal doesn't serve, does not even disturb. First and foremost, look at that as you as a person and try to start relating because somebody might be having let's say 30 goats or 10 and those goats come because some of you tell me my male was active earlier in the first days then it stopped these guys what i have to inform you is that these guys don't serve all throughout these are not human beings you guys human beings always have sex or whenever you need it but this is not the case with the animals these animals, they have conditions of being bred. You get it? Or to breed. If an animal is not on heat, this goat will not serve it. If the animal is pregnant, this goat will not serve it. It's only those young kids like the one I've showed you that creates havoc all over the, the flock. Because for them, they are very active. You know, they are sexually excited. The hormones are too fresh. They are really telling them to do a lot of things. So that becomes another problem. What do we do? Those kind of males, we separate them, put them in the unit. And then we leave the owners of the flock. How do you know that the owner of the flock is active? 
I have told you that many times. Underneath is always very dirty. And even this guy. Eh? Because most of the time, um, this beard always becomes another issue. Because when this guy splits, you, he tends even to check on its uh, urine or the spermatozoas that he has split. So, it's always dirty here. It's always dirty here and dirty at the, uh, at the beard. So, basically, that's what I, I really wanted you to know. Uh, but actually, if you find out that your animal is sexually inactive, what do we do? We do not just leave it there. It could be many conditions. One, the nutrition. Feeding also affects these animals for breeding. If your animal is not getting enough, take an example. If you're really feeling hungry and you don't have what to eat, even yourself, you have no energy. Can you serve? The answer is no. This was going to the men. Then also come on top, um, on the side of women. If you're not feeding well, you're much stressed, you work a lot, you'll not have urge for being served. And sometimes you find yourself even uh, missing the, 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 the peas because the body is not ready for what you want it to be. So basically, nutrition is a key point. The health is a key point. And also um, the, the, the body itself. The body will tell that I'm ready to be bred or I'm ready to breed. How? By being satisfied. So if the body is satisfied, it will tell you what next. So if an animal like this fails to breed, and actually you've taken all those tests and you say it is not active, what do you do? There is also another solution for that. What we do, get what they call vitamin B complex. Even if you get that of human being, inject this animal like five meals for three days. You're going to see it charged. But it's not always good to give it to an animal that looks so cacetic. Some animal that is bony. Some animal that is uh, weak. And you're forcing it to uh, get the sexual urge. If you, if you force it and that guy starts to serve, it's going to lose the body. And actually on top of that, it might even die. Because it will be too, too weak. So my dear farmers, that's what I really wanted to inform you. You people who are complaining about um, these animals not being active or your male not being active or your male being active just for a short time that is what you're supposed to do i think uh let me just wish you the best you guys uh bye for now